everybody, this is Praxis, and today uh, my dad is here on site and he's helping to finish up all of the smoke detectors. The, uh, with the exception of a couple closet lights, there are three closet lights, I'm still waiting for those to be delivered. Adding a, a light to the system is no big deal, it happens in just a few minutes. Uh, with the exception of that, the only thing left really is the smoke detectors. Once those are in, the electrician comes in, he just grounds out the system, does whatever other magic he needs to do, and then we can get our inspection, I think. Uh, the reason I'm shooting uh, up in here uh, today is because uh, this smoke detector right here, we had to move this one, and the reason is because of this uh, vent pipe. This vent pipe is related to the, uh, the drainage uh, from you know, the uh, toilets and sinks and laundry and all that kind of stuff. This is where all the gases go when they vent up through the roof, up through there. When we were putting this through uh, the ceiling uh, and up through uh, the roof, because of where the ribs and the metal roof were, we had to move it over a little bit more than we were anticipating. And because of that, it was too close to the smoke detector. So we're going to have to relocate the smoke detector. Uh, so uh, we took that problem and combined it with another problem, uh, which I'm kind of feeling right now, which is upstairs kind of overheating a little bit. Uh, and we came up with this solution. Uh, the air that goes and vents down uh, into the slab downstairs is grabbed from a vent that's inside this closet. It's on the highest floor of the house, but it's only at about this height. Uh, I always kind of had the sense that maybe I would take that and maybe like make like a straw so it could grab the hot, hot air from the very uh, peak of the house and pull it down. That was something I thought maybe I would work on uh, later, but uh, given this situation, I figured, well, you know, maybe now's the time to kind of start working on that. What we're doing is we're uh, doing kind of like a, an enclosed chamber here. We're uh, dropping down the ceiling. That allowed us to get the smoke detector away from that pipe. Uh, and it's going to make kind of a, I guess it would be a crawl space if you were a squirrel. Uh, but it's going to be a, like an air conduit. We're going to connect the vent that's over there at this level up along the roof, make a few holes through here. And then when this whole thing gets sheathed with boards, uh, we'll be able to grab air all the way up from the top once I put a couple of uh, register holes up there. So that's really going to help get the absolute warmest air from the whole house, pump it down under the floor and you know, heat the floor, and at the same time make this uh, environment you know, less overheated whenever you're doing a wood stove. Uh, that's about all that's going on today. Uh, the rest of the week is really just kind of finishing up wallboards on the outside. Weather's uh, still continuing to be amiable enough to doing uh, the wallboards and the painting outside, but you know we really can't count on that. I'm sure there's snow and really cold temperatures coming pretty soon, so we really got to hurry up on that. That's it. Thanks for watching.